The IRIS-T, Infrared Imaging System, tail-slash-thrust vector controlled, is a next-generation short-range air-to-air missile intended to replace the aging AIM-9 Sidewinder. It is currently among the most advanced of its class, thanks to its high-speed, state-of-art electronics, and nearly unmatched maneuverability. Originally, Germany was part of a joint project. The U.S. was to develop a medium-range missile, resulting in the AIM-120 AMRAM, while Germany, Norway, Canada, and England were given charge of the short-range project. However, when the Cold War ended, Germany decided in 1995, along with Greece, Italy, Norway, Sweden, and Canada, to develop a missile with shorter range and more maneuverability. Britain proceeded with its design, and the Osram entered service soon after. The German-led project took longer, especially because Canada dropped out, but in 2005 it entered service, since the IRIS-T primarily replaces the venerable Sidewinder, any aircraft that can fire the AIM-9 can also fire the IRIS-T, making it an attractive replacement choice. This air-to-air -air missile utilizes infrared homing, more commonly known as heat-seeking. This means that the IRIS-T tracks its targets by following their infrared signature. It is also known as heat-seeking, because infrared light is radiated primarily by heat. However, unlike many other contemporary missiles, the IRIS-T can see the target, allowing it to distinguish between countermeasures and its target. Also, this missile has high resistance to electronic countermeasures. The IRIS-T is one of the most deadly missiles today. It has a powerful motor, which gives it a speed of Mach 3, 3703 km per hour, enough to quickly reach most enemy aircraft and destroy them with its lethal high-explosive proximity fuse-triggered fragmentation warhead. Its thrust vector slash tail control system grants it such maneuverability that it can make turns of 60 G without much trouble. This massively outclasses even the most maneuverable fighter aircraft of today, as they can only go to 12 G. However, the Iris-T is somewhat lacking in range, 25 kilometers, a number that falls far short of the Osram's 50 kilometer range. The Iris-T includes a number of advanced features. These include lock-on before launch, LOBL, lock-on after launch, LOAL, allowing the IRIS-T to target aircraft behind its launch platform, to be carried internally, and to give targets far less warning that it is tracking them, improving hit chances, and the precision to intercept incoming missiles. The IRIS-T has had a fairly successful export history, with missiles sold to Austria, Belgium, Germany, Greece, Italy, Norway, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Spain, Sweden, and Thailand, at the cost of about $455,000 each. Note that this is a few hundred thousand dollars less expensive than the AIM-9X.